It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, on V103. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's all about the good and bad and ugly of R&B. Let's start with the good. Kelly Rowe, my homegirl Kelly Rowe, is still expecting child on the way, launches a new watch line. So while she's watching the time for that new addition to arrive, you she can look at it on her own new watch. In partnership with TW Steel, special edition time features three oversized watches in rose gold, black steel, and blue with sapphire crystals, Italian leather, and, of course, steel. Quote, I love fashion. It plays such an important role in the in, uh, music industry. For me, it's, it's uh, now... Now, to channel that passion in designing my own range of watches with TW uh, Steel is pretty exciting. Hope I can get one. They uh, range from $650 to $995. Kelly Rowe, hook your boy up with a new watch. In the meantime, in between time, CeeLo Green may want to watch what he says. This would be the ugly part of it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. He continues to feel the fallout from his controversial Twitter comments about rape. Organizers of Mobile, Alabama's Bayfest Music Festival have dropped CeeLo from the lineup saying the singer's comments, quote, are contrary to the beliefs and conscious of the festival. This uh, is the third music festival gig CeeLo's lost since post in the messages. Ain't gonna be on the bill. Ain't got three jobs. I mean, he losing money over this real big. The Navy sponsored the Freedom Live Festival in Washington, D.C. was the first to drop him, followed by Louisiana's Gretna Heritage uh, Festival. Uh, you remember he said, quote, people who have really been raped remember. He's since apologized uh, repeatedly, but it seems like people ain't really going for all of that, okay? And now for the bad of R&B. Shout out to the homie Tyrese. This is pretty bad. He's uh, facing legal action from an author who penned a book about... Tyrese's mom. According to court documents uh, obtained, author Cynthia Banks claims Tyrese owes her $83,000 for publicly speaking out against her decision to write about her mother's struggle with alcoholism, apparently. She sued Tyrese for 75 grand in her home state of Texas. However, he never responded to the suit, making her an automatic victor. Tyrese reportedly hasn't paid her, so she's taking him to court in Cali for the amount, plus $8,000 in interest. Meanwhile, while Tyrese believes uh, Banks bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray his mom when she was in rehab. He adds that his family is trying their best to make the lawsuit go away. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's going to do it for the good, bad, and ugly of R&B inside the trending topics, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Big Tick, if you missed any part of this particular conversation, head on over to V-103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can also see my good... Bad and ugly face. <laughs> Stay tuned. My girl, your girl, Michelle Williams, will be live in studio next. We're going to talk about a new album, all things she's got going on. Tune in and turn up at watchv103.com.